Hey, how are y'all doing? It is TJ, aka Young Do, aka T Riz. <laughs> you know what it is, uh, Touchdown Gang. That's the label. But um, yeah, today I have some pretty good topics. Um, this isn't gonna be a cut up video. You know how vlogs are usually cut up and chopped up because I like the music that's behind it. So I'm not gonna cut it up. We're just gonna we're just gonna go. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is Kobe and his daughter's death. Rest in peace. And here's the thing. I think that if Kobe were alive, I think that what he would want people to know is that more than just him and his daughter lost their lives. They really did. You know, people who know people have funerals and those funerals are full with people. I just think sometimes, and I don't mean to be self-centered, I really don't, I'm just shooting at the noggin here, but if I died, there would be so many people at my funeral and I'm no celebrity, you know? It's just the other people who died matter as well. And I'm sorry I didn't look up the names, I'm sorry I didn't do research. I don't know how many points Kobe scored in his games. I just know I love Kobe, Kevin Durant, Dirk, I love Luca. you know what I mean? And whenever an, an, an NBA player dies, it is a truly sad thing. But in this case, I think he will want us to think about everyone who died. Um, and that's really important to me. That's just what's been on my noggin. Um, while we're talking about, you know, the tragic death, which <sighs> dying in a helicopter, man, I just, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think about it. I don't like to think about it. It's just, things can happen. And if a helicopter can crash, a car can crash. A plane probably won't crash, but a helicopter, a car, a motorcycle, you might, you not might crash, but you could crash. You never know. So be as good of a person as Kobe was and spread joy with everyone you know. Spread good hopes, good love, spread everything. I don't know why I'm laughing, but spread everything good. All good vibes. Um, the next thing I would like to talk about are, I don't really feel comfortable talking about this, but I guess the deaths of Juice World and X and I'm sorry my phone ran out of space because I record videos sometimes um, for YouTube. But anyways, like I was saying, Tupac, Biggie, Juice World, X, you could name more off the top of your head. Like, if you're signing a rapper and you're a parent or an adult, you want them to rap about positive things. You want them to rap about not doing drugs and not shooting people and giving the fundraisers and how awesome it is to be a leader you know what i mean all that all that in a rapper please and you don't think they can make it dope stop playing with me like all i'm saying is that it's important for us to excel society from a rapper standpoint now at the same time if you do rap don't act like it's not fun talking about drugs money and you know the rest it's fun, it's easy, it's catchy, people love it. But at the same time, you got real people out here in these streets, in the hood, popping perks, drinking lean, smoking weed. Like, that's the shit to do, man. I'm here, and I'm a survivor of the drugs. I've, I've done it all, you know what I mean? And I'm here to tell you, it's fun to rap about, you know. But the thing is, that's not the life to live. You know what I mean? No matter what rapper says, that's the life to live. Juice World popped pills before he went on a flight. I don't know what he was doing, but dog, he was 21. You don't think a homie should have came up to him and been like, yo, bro, you're lit, you're famous, no drugs, let's get money. Let's talk about real stuff, you know what I mean? Like, who cares if it catches people's attention? You know, you got a deal. And here's the thing, I don't know how deals work. Like, that is a whole... Like, 
a whole nother world that we just don't understand. And what I want to do or what I want to think about is trying to put good role models in positions of power. You know what I mean? My favorite rappers are Travis Scott, uh, Mac Miller, um, J. Cole. Um, I love me some Kenick, some Kendrick Lamar. He's not my favorite rapper, but like... They talk about what's real, you know? Everybody's got to die, you know what I mean? You're not cool because you have a gun or you or you, or you you drink lean or, 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 you know, whatever else, dog. Like, these rappers spit that, you know what I mean? And they also spread the side of that, of the fact that people have real lives where they do this dangerous stuff. And if you want this dangerous life, this is what it looks like. And, you know, some people are like, nah, nah. And that's like me. Like, I'm not listening to that. That's why, I, personally, I don't listen to a lot of Tupac because it's too real for me. It's too, it's too real. You know what I mean? I listen, I listen to, like, you know, it's just, I don't know, man. I just think we should have more positive rappers. I would sign a positive rapper talking about how women are the best, how difficult it has, how difficult it is to maybe have a a vajoodly do. You know what I mean? Like that shit might be hard. You know what I mean? Like there's just stuff that we could be rapping about. You know what I mean? And you know, I that's all I gotta say about that. Now the next thing, and this is gonna be the last topic, but I'm thinking about what I wanna do with the rest of my life. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking about my purpose. And my purpose is to have fun and make money and, you know, hang with my best friends and maybe meet the girl of my dreams and et cetera, et cetera. The, the superstar life with the big mansion and I record whenever I want and I put out music whenever I want. But the reality is there are people who are surgeons. There are people who are EMTs. You know what I mean? There are people who are truck drivers. There are people who build buildings. You know what I mean? And they have an obligation to society to do this stuff all the time. What would we do if we ran out of doctors? You don't think they want to have fun? Bro, they're stressing on that on that one surgery they got to do. You know what I mean? And they do it all the time. You need a surgery, there's someone to do it. Now, I'm thinking about supply and demand. How do we have so many doctors and so many people who build things and so many people who design things and so many artists? Have you ever seen a cartoon, bro? Are you kidding? Have you ever seen South Park Bojack Horseman coming out with 6 to 12 to 24 Family Guy? Coming out with seasons and seasons? You think that it's just the voice actors and the writers writing it? No, bro. No. There are people who do animation for every episode so it matches voice to mouth. Come on now. That's hard and animators need people to do that. I'm just saying, when you think about your life like I think rapping is my passion. I think producing is my passion. I think, you know, I think that having fun is my passion. And I think I can make a job out of it. Like, you know, I think I'll be a pretty good party host. <laughs> you know, contrary to popular belief, you know, I'm about to take a shot. You take a shot. Ah, you know, like, I'm just saying. But at the same time, like, what I'm saying is, Think about your profession and think about how you could help the world. I'm thinking about how I could help the world. And I think that, you know, if I if I set up the right team and the right people want to do it, then we can set up the world better through music. Now, I don't know if I can spearhead that. I don't know if there's anything else I want to do in my life. But like I said, that's the last topic. And if you stayed through the whole video, I'm glad you enjoyed. I didn't smoke a cigarette the whole video. Cause you need to quit those. I need to quit those. It's just, and I have to put this in there. If you're smoking, quit. And if you're a kid, don't start smoking unless you're 21. Cause you don't really need a cigarette until you're 21. But if you're anxious and you have anxiety and it's killing you and you don't want to, you don't want to get 51 50 and you don't want to go to the psychiatric hospital or or you're just having a really rough day and stuff is going terrible, you know what I mean? I don't wanna condone it. I don't wanna give you lung cancer. Smoke a cigarette. I gotta quit. I don't have a choice. I smoke too much and it gets like that, but at least it helps me right now. Better than whatever else there is. All right, this is Young Do. I'm signing out. You guys have a good day. Um, go to work, eat healthy. I ate two salads. Um, 
Hey, one thing. Hey, if you got your license and you got a car, bro, you can only get so many points on that license. You get points when you get tickets. And when you get too many points, your license is suspended, I think, from one to three years if you get too many tickets. So think about that. Don't get a ticket driving stupid. And if you have to take a driver's course, do it online, which it's easy. It costs 30 bucks. And get it done first. I waited, and I've been up since 2.30 a.m. So <laughs> get it done. Get what you need to get done. Get done, you know, on some adulting with Emma, Emma Chamberlain type shit. Start adulting. I'm 23, and I'm still trying to adult. So get it right. Shut do. T-Duke.